Hey guys, B Snappy here. There is hundreds of helicopter rides taking place in this Bell 47 all over Oshkosh every day. And Keith here owns one of these amazing Bell 47 helicopters behind us. And this helicopter has an amazing history. Hey Keith. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? Better than I deserve. So Keith, can you give us a brief history about your helicopter here? Yeah, so this aircraft started off life in 1966. It served its first, first seven years at Fort Rucker in Alabama yep. as a military trainer. Uh, subsequent to that, it was with the Portsmouth, Virginia Police Department, operated there from 1973 uh, until 1987. It was a privately owned aircraft from 87 to 91. At that point, it was acquired by a cranberry farmer out in Massachusetts who farmed with it until 2021. And then I acquired it for use here at Oshkosh. So the Bell 47 has actually withstood the test of time. Why is that? Uh, they're, they're very, very robust because they were built early in the history of aircraft or helicopter specifically. Um, they were built very simply. So because of their simplicity and a heavy main rotor system, they're easier to uh, auto rotate and, and they're a very forgiving aircraft unless you do something really bad. What's the maintenance on one of these helicopters? So most of the components on these, uh, these aircraft were built with wood blades and metal blades. Uh, the wood blades are repair on condition, but the metal blades have a time limit on them, 5,000 hours. Yeah. So one of the biggest expenses is acquiring replacement main rotors. Then the transmission and the tail rotor and every component on this aircraft has a time limit. So is the Bell Helicopter Company actually still supporting this type of helicopter? Or not? So the Bell type certificate was uh, sold to Scott Bell out of Minnesota. They do supply quite a bit of uh, components and uh, support for the aircraft. So this is a three-seater helicopter. What does a helicopter like this cost to buy? Uh, 285,000 US yep. is an average price right now on a, on a Bell 47 G3 model. Um, you'll see them as low as 145,000, those would need blades and some other components, might need an engine overhaul. Uh, this one is probably a half a million dollar aircraft. It has roughly 5,000 hours left on the main blades, wow. or they're 4,990, they're almost brand new. So the instrumentation looks in here pretty straightforward. Is it really straightforward to fly? Absolutely. So this is your cyclic that controls your forward and aft flight, uh, yes. and lateral flight, left, right, forward, back. The collective nearest the camera, that imparts your power on the throttle yep. and the pitch blade of the main pitch. And then simple gauges that you would see in any other uh, fairly slow, non-instrument rated aircraft. So what is the cruise speed on a helicopter like this? This model is about 75 knots. But it looks just so cruisy in the sky. Absolutely. Uh, the view from these are unmatched in pretty much any other helicopter. Yeah. Uh, with, with a view from your heels to over your head. Uh, 360 degree view forward from a sightseeing standpoint these were the aircraft that created the sightseeing industry so i'm seeing four helicopters out here how many flights are you guys doing a day here at oshkosh uh so on an average day during the uh, week of oshkosh we do about uh, 400 plus rides a day wow. total for the entire event somewhere north of 3,000. 3100 to 3500 rides throughout the week i'm here with don and he's actually flying at this event today so what is it like flying around Oshkosh all day, every day? Is it ever grow old? No, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. We fly uh, usually twice a day. Then we uh, help fuel the aircraft. We get to watch and see the airplanes come in. Yeah. The uh, people, the traffic. So it never gets old because every time we make a trip around, it's different. I looked up in the control tower and there was 10 people up there. Are they actually controlling you guys or are you guys on your own frequency? No, we, we monitor the tower frequency, and we have a defined geographic area that we stay within. We yeah. call it the box. So as long as we stay in there, we don't have to talk to them. Yeah. But we monitor them if they have a question for us, or if we see something, we can let them know. Oh, and then God. if there's any emergency on the field, they can get in touch with us let us know to land the helicopters. What is one thing you love about the Bell 47 that you prefer over anyone? Well, it's it's a, just pure flying. You really have to fly this thing. The throttle on it's kind of sensitive and you have to be on it all the time. Yeah. I've flown a lot of turbine aircraft and they're honestly a lot easier to fly than one of these. And uh, you got the air blowing in. It's just wonderful. And that just looks so cruisy. Yeah, it, it's not fast. I don't think they'll dodge an iceberg, but they're yeah. they're a lot of fun. 
It's about to get loud. The helicopters are starting up. Thanks for chatting with me, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.